Okay, so let's see if you have the mental focus and math skills to solve this problem all in your head. So we're talking about uh, mental math, and of course that means no calculators, no paper, no pencil, so all you're going to do is use your brain. All right, so let's take a look at the problem. We have 18 divided by three times two plus four. Okay, now if you think you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. By the way, this is not a race, so if you wanna pause the video and look at this, that's perfectly fine. Okay, so once again, we have 18 divided by three times two plus four. Let's go ahead and take a look at the answer right now. The correct answer is one of these numbers right here. Now, if you don't have one, seven, 16, or 36 as your answer, unfortunately, you did this problem wrong, but don't despair. Uh, by the time you finish this video, you'll be an expert. But uh, one of these problems or one of these answers is correct. Which one is correct? Is it one? Well, no. Okay, unfortunately, that is wrong. But uh, maybe you got 36 as your answer. Is that right? Nope, that is wrong as well. How about 16? Is 16 uh, correct? Indeed it is. 16 is the right answer. And if you got seven, unfortunately, did this wrong as uh, well. Now, these are probably the most common uh, wrong answers. Okay, 16, of course, is correct. And if you uh, figure this out, if 16 was the answer you got, well, we have to celebrate by giving you an A plus A 100% and multiple stars. So you could brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in the area of basic mental uh, mathematics. And that's what we're doing here. We're practicing, uh, basically it's a mental exercise to do some quick calculations in your brain. Now there's gonna come times where you're not gonna have a calculator, a piece of paper or pencil around, and you're gonna wanna do some quick calculations in your brain. And if you don't practice uh, doing this, it's kinda like a muscle that gets kinda weak. So that's the whole idea behind uh, this uh, video. But there's another purpose as well because I'm gonna highlight some uh, common mistakes when it comes to basic mathematics. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. But before I show you the right way, let's uh, kind of look at some incorrect ways to do this problem. All right, let's suppose you looked at this problem and you're saying, all right, where, where do I start? Maybe you're saying, well, let's see, 18 divided by three times two plus four. Now remember, you're doing this in your brain, so you're gonna have to do one operation at a time. And maybe your eyes kind of uh, went right here. Like, all right, three times two, I can handle that. So I'm gonna do this in my brain. Three times two is six. So now you're thinking about the problem. All right, that three times two is six. So now I got 18 div divided by six. So now your eyes kind of, you know, focus in right here on this part of the problem. Again, you can kind of stare at this problem and you go, okay, 18 divided by uh, six is three. And then three plus four is seven. So, I mean, you did a pretty good job, you know, focusing and doing the basic math steps here. Unfortunately, this is wrong because this is the wrong order, okay? So if you came up with seven, I understand why you would uh, come up with this wrong answer. Let's go ahead and take a look at another way somebody could have done this problem. All right, so maybe someone is saying, all right, 18 divided by three times two plus four. Maybe their eyes kind of, uh, you know, their attention comes over here to the um, end of the problem, two plus four. They're like, I could do two plus four. Let me go ahead and do that and I get six, right? So now you're saying, all right, this is 18 divided by three times six. So now at this point, you can say, all right, well, what can I do here? Well, I can go three times six, uh, that is 18. So 18 divided by 18 is one. So again, this is another wrong answer, or you could have went like this. You, went, you could have said 18 divided by three is six, and then six times six is 36 which is another wrong answer. Now, why are all these answers that I just showed you, are uh, why are they wrong? Well, they're wrong because you did the problem in the wrong order, okay? All the sub-steps, all the division, multiplication, addition, and division is, I'm sorry, division, multiplication, and addition is correct. The problem here is the order and the way you're doing the problem. And so let's go ahead and take a look at the correct order, and this would be the correct order. All right, so you need to start over here, 18 divided by three. This is where you need to start the problem. So let's go ahead and do it this way. So 18 divided by three, of course, is six. Now we have six times two plus four, 
Now the next step, the next correct step here is to do this multiplication. So six times two, of course is 12, 12 plus four is 16, which is the right answer. Okay, so why is this correct? Well, I'm gonna explain that right now. Okay, so first of all, before I explain that, I'm gonna ask you to consider subscribing to my channel. I wanna, uh, I would not interrupt this lovely math video if it wasn't that important. My objective is to try to help as many people that um, you know really are struggling in mathematics. Now, I've been teaching math for many, many years, and I just feel like you know YouTube is a great platform for me to be able to share my experience and my knowledge in mathematics. Unfortunately, there's just not enough uh, good math teachers out there or qualified math teachers. And of course, I'm not knocking any particular math teacher, but oftentimes people are not learning with or not getting the instruction they need in school. Okay, so that's why I love to be able to do this. But by you subscribing, it really does help me uh, you know, my YouTube channel to connect with these people that need my assistance. Also too, when you subscribe, I look at that as like having a new student in my virtual classroom. And if you're gonna subscribe, you might as well go ahead and hit that notification bell as well so you can get my latest videos. All right, so thank you so much. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at why uh, 18 divided by three was the first correct move, okay? so. All these other options that we did, first of all, remember we did three times two, that was wrong. We started off over here, two plus four, that was wrong. What was correct was 18 divided by three, but why? Well, you need to understand this little phrase right here, PEMDAS. Now this is an acronym, these letters stand for something, it's P-E-M-D-A-S, and there's a lovely little phrase that goes along with this. It is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, once again, please excuse uh, my dear Aunt Sally. Now, I don't know what Aunt Sally uh, did, but we thank her for her cool little phrase because she has told us how to do the correct order of operations. You see, in mathematics, things like addition, division, multiplication, subtraction, these are mathematical operators, and we need to know what is the right order to do a problem when there is multiple operators in the problem like this particular problem. Okay, so this is how this PEMDAS works. It's a checklist that goes from left to right. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is P, parentheses. Now, if there were parentheses in this problem, like for example, if this problem had parentheses right here, I would do this part first, okay? But this particular problem does not have any parentheses. All right, what does E stand for? Well, E stands for exponents, but really it stands for power. So if I had like two to the third power, this little number up in the top right is called the exponent. This big number down here is called the base. The entire thing is a power. So uh, if you have powers, you're going to do those next. Okay, so we don't have any parentheses and we don't have any powers. So this brings us to M, D, A, and S. So M stands for multiplication, D is division, A is addition, and S is subtraction. Now, a lot of uh, students, a lot of people confuse uh, this PEMDAS, they know this same, but they confuse this part. And this is how you end up with wrong answers. So it makes, you know, it's logical to think, well, if this is going from left to right, then I'm going to do multiplication first, and then after all the multiplication, I'll do division. So if that's the case, somebody might be saying, well, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, why, you know, why don't you start the problem right here, three times two, okay? That's multiplication. I don't know why you're doing 18 divided by three, you're wrong. I'm right, well, no, indeed, we have to do the division first because the way this works is the M and D are a group and so is A and S. So the way PEMDAS works is it's multiplication or division, whatever you see first from left to right. So let me go ahead and show you this real quick. So if we see multiplication, then division, we'll do it this way because we see multiplication first from left to right. But if we have division from left to right, then you're gonna do the, uh, the division first. And here, obviously, we have division before multiplication from left to right, so this is why we need to start the prompt uh, here. So once we do this division, then we have to, of course, do any multiplication. That's why we did this step next. And then lastly, we do addition and subtraction. Uh, and um, addition and subtraction are also a group. They work the same way as multiplication and division. In other words, you're gonna do whatever you see first from left to right. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. 
So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.